All right, artists, get your tablets ready. We all know you're going to draw while listening to this. And thankfully for you, there's not many visuals to go with this video. But before I play the call itself, I feel it's important to preface this with the events that took place prior, as well as some other things to give context. As many of you know, I pretty regularly deal with morons and various types of scumbags. They vary on intensity, but they're there nonetheless. And before anyone asks, where do I find these people? The answer is, I don't. They find me. On top of that, I need to make it clear that the stunt this person specifically pulled with me is out of the ordinary. You see, despite the how hot is your mom and is she single stuff I might say to rattle the zoomers, the only woman I have eyes for is my wife. It's also why you're not going to find anything of overt sexual nature on my social medias. This is because I am what the common folk call a prude. So trust me when I say that it is very rare when someone tries to sexually harass me. I'm sure that got your attention. Anyways, on to the story. On January 3rd, Just a Robot sent me a link to a video where a user named Craftify made a video about a situation between Hopeless Peaches and Spockter. In this video, she said that I should have minded my own business, despite the fact that I was involved. I decided to make a comment, and that led to this creator claiming that it wasn't her opinion, but her editor's opinion and other nonsense before she deleted the video altogether after the first call. After the comment and some Twitter back and forth, she hopped and sent it, and that's when this first call happened. Well, just in case, because you know you're old. Alright, Magnastar, what do you want? I'm the channel that all started it. You want to try that again? You know what I'm talking about. Actually, I just didn't understand what you said, because you just sort of spat it out like freaking Speedy Gonzales. <laughs> so sorry. Um, oh, shit. Sorry, it's cold. So again, what's your issue here exactly? Because it seems like you went from making a really stupid video to getting called out about it in the comment section to melting down... Yeah, uh... Uh, like I said, it wasn't my opinion. Why would you put to out begin somebody, with. Why would you put out somebody else's opinion on your channel? Um, we share this thing. You share the channel. So does this person also? Yeah. Does this person also crochet then? No, she okay. doesn't. Then, then it's not a shared channel because your channel is about crocheting. And this other person okay. is that this watcher person. Uh, what are you talking about? Your editor. Is that the watcher individual we've been talking no, about? No, no, no. No. Okay. No, that's not her. So you said that your editor is the one that has his opinion, yes? She can't speak. I'm sorry. I, I didn't ask if she could speak. I just said that's your editor that you said has this opinion, correct? Sorry. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. That wasn't you. Sorry. Are you all right over there? Uh, no. I am outside trying to... Okay, I'm done. What were you saying? Are you talking to me or somebody else in Netherland? Um, somebody else. Sorry, you're still on. Let me know when you're done like talking. I said, I was in a public place. Public place yeah, for let you. Me, let, me done when you're, let me know when you're done talking to, I don't know, Mr. Tumnus over there, and then we can continue. No, uh, he, he's gone. He only came to um, deliver something. Okay. So who is your editor? I'm not, uh, you know, able to tell you that. You're not able to We have an you. agreement. You have, so your editor's a coward, then? Uh, kind of. I okay. told him to get the fuck out of my house. You live with them? Uh, yeah, sadly. How old are you? I am actually 24. That is horrifically embarrassing. <clears throat> You're 24 years old. You have so to... it's embarrassing to you, right? I wasn't done speaking. It's horrifically embarrassing to be 24 years old, put out somebody else's opinion on your channel, then not even have the decency of saying whose opinion it actually is. While no, actually, I agree with you. I totally agree with her now. Oh, really? And what is it that she said that you agree with exactly? I want to know. Um, actually, everything. Everything. So, how exactly do I drag people into my business? Oh, man, it got quiet real quick. 
The truth Shit, of the matter is- sorry, my bad. I didn't know you were this frosty. Frosty? Yeah, I'm really telling you. Telling me what? Like, is your brain not functioning right? Is there a misfire no. there somewhere? I'm in the middle of something. Yes, you're in the middle of something, but I asked you a question. And then you asked, then you said that I was frosty. What? I, I don't. Yeah, I really called you that. Frosty? Like the snowman? No. Then what is that supposed to even mean in this context? It means you're Fonzie. Okay. What does that mean in this context? Let's see if you can answer that question. No offense, but you come in at the wrong time and a bad timing. I came in at the wrong time and bad timing? I was willing to wait for whenever you were okay to come in. That's not what I'm talking about. Then what are you talking about? Oh my gosh. Look, despite what you might think, I am not magically aware. I just answered aware. your question for you. You did not answer anything. I asked you what you mean by frosty. Actually, I did. How is... I came in at a bad time in answer to you calling me Frosty. Did you have relationships with Frosty the Snowman? Did he run out on you? Okay, I agree there are some things that she says that is very terrible, but some of it's not. Am I talking um, to a schizophrenic? Are, are, you, okay. are you, like, possessed or something? Because we can handle are that Are you really you insulting me right now? No, I'm asking like, you a direct no question. Reason? I'm asking you a direct question. I just you, answered it for you. You did not answer what Frosty meant in that context at all. Ah. Uh, that means you're cold-hearted. I'm going to take from that that you don't know what you meant by him dragging people into the face. I was chasing him. Oh my god, I was chasing him. <laughs> How exactly am I cold hearted? I've got to hear this. Because the whole Spockner situation. The Spockner situation. And what way was I heartless in the Spockner situation? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I need that laugh. <laughs> what were my heartless actions in the Spockner situation? Because you didn't know he w what he was going through, so... Oh, I know exactly what he's going through. That's not an excuse for his actions. Okay, and like, you can make the same videos and talk about people? I primarily prefer to do, like, action figure and cartoon stuff. But oh, I, they can too. Yeah, they can talk about cartoons. I don't care if they talk about cartoons. Know what I'm talking about. Do I need to actually... You're, you're 24, so should I really need to have to sit down and explain to you the difference between talking about a situation and treating people poorly? Do I need to explain that to you? Thank you, poorly. What do you what do you think I did that was heartless in the spotter situation? Can you give me an exact thing that I did? Me personally. You got into it. Why did I get into it? And how does that make me heartless? Honestly, someone should have went alone and talked to him. Wow. Not six freaking people. Six people? Six? Where'd you get the number six from? Six six six. No, seriously, how many people do you think actually talked to him? I'm curious. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, you said six people, so was it six people that talked to him? You know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. Do you actually mean six, or are you just being facetious? No. Okay, so, you think there's something morally wrong with having a witness there to talk to somebody? Honestly, well, someone should have went alone to talk to him, not more people than needed. Needed? Who determines how many people are needed? Do you determine that? No. Alright, then who determines that? Perhaps it's a situation by situation. I don't know. Anyone else? No. The truth of the matter is, the first call with Spockter, Peaches, and I 
I was completely content with sitting there completely quiet and just being moral support for my daughter. That would have been just fine with me. The only reason I spoke at I don't care. Like, you didn't need to bring up his past videos. You did it. And? Does a content creator somehow not have the ability to I'm pretty sure Peaches is an adult, okay? okay I'm pretty sure. Peaches was the one asking him about his past videos. I'm pretty sure she could have done it alone. Doofus. She could have done it alone. You just, look, truth of the matter is people like you just really like Spockter and you don't like him being called out. Which is goofy. Um, actually, no, I don't. I like his content, but yeah, I don't like you him. You like Spockter. Liking him and liking his content is not anything different in this case. It's why Actually, you're... it pretty much is. It isn't. It's why you're in here crying bitter tears. She could have talked to him alone. She could have done this. I might even How freaking would you even crying know? right You now. don't know of anything that's going on here. You know dick all. So who are you I've watched you, you know? for years. Um, I have to just say something. Um, you're 24, so you're a year older than me. So why is it that I have to go in and talk on my own, but you can't even put your own opinions on your content? Because I don't, I don't have to freaking do what you want. That's the problem. Oh, so we have to do what you want, but you don't have to do what we want. That's yeah, what no, I didn't say that. Quit putting words in my mouth. That, that your That's your problem. problem. My problem. You put no, words no, in people's ahead. mouth. Psychoanalyze me, dear doctor. I would love to hear what my prescription would be. Why? Because someone's more than you? Because someone's what than me? Exactly. Maybe you ought to take the dicks out of your mouth before you start talking. You want to try again? What? Well, come on. I'm waiting to hear it. I'm old. My hearing's not all that good. Want to try again? Or maybe it's not dicks. Maybe it's all that yarn you shoved up your craw. Really? So now you're insulting me still. Oh, so you can insult <laughs> me, but I can't insult you. So again, I just asked you to repeat yourself. What more than me? Sir, how old are you? 37. And what do you do in your day of life? Well, do you want a full list of it? Because I can give you that. No, what do you exactly do with your life? Oh, I do a lot of things. That's why. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and give you a rundown of my schedule since you're so very concerned about it. Uh, usually I wake up around 3 in the morning. I do stuff around the house. I do work on the second job I have. Sometimes I do work on other Oh, so you stay indoors. You don't communicate at I'm all not, with people. I'm not done. That's literally just starting at 3 a.m., honey. Calm down. By 5 o'clock, I'm usually out the door to start my job, which I am there for anywhere from 10 to sometimes 15 hours a day, where I am primarily out in the open. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got something to say. Peaches, I am sorry for that. Has, for this whole thing. She has no idea what you're apologizing for, but I'm continuing now because I know you're trying to move the goalpost. I'm usually out. What goalpost? The goalpost of, you don't talk to anybody. Look, I know you're really bad at making insults, but trying to redirect mine back at me are really weak and stupid. Because I work probably more than anybody you've ever met. I usually oh, so I'm weak and stupid hours. because yes. I yes, you are. you talk you, I are weak, to you are weak and stupid because it's obvious what you're doing and you are very bad at it. What am I doing exactly? What exactly am I doing? Deflection. Deflection of what? Deflection of the point. Because you knew I was going to go into the fact that I am actively out there talking to people pretty regularly, and you don't. That's the point. Oh, so I don't go outside and talk to people? Not as much, no, you don't. You know, for a guy who talks socially, you're really bad at it. No, I'm actually really good at it. There's a reason why I was the top actually, performer. Actually, no, you're in not. Sec actually, no, I am, because there's a reason why I was the top performer in my branch this quarter. How about you? I talk to more people than you. Prove it. Online doesn't count. Prove it. Let's hear nope. it. I'm not online all the time. Prove it. So let me get this straight. You're the type of people that like to insult insult people and like tell them what they are. Yeah, no, that's nice. That's, that's, really you, that's what you are no, literally that's trying literally to do what here. You are. That is literally, that's literally what you are. What you that are. is literally what you are trying to do and you suck at it. So again, dear doctor, no, nope, that's you. To that's get... you. That's all you. That's you. That's, that's all your you. mistake. Oh that's were all you're gonna be in your life is a down parents, Were your parents related before they were married? Is that what this is? Oh, so now you're insulting my parents. Oh, unquestionably, they raised you to be like you are. Oh my golly. So I've been sat in this conversation and like, well, I can do whatever the hell because like you've been literally saying 
you've literally been trying to assume like his intent on everything, but Magna, you've come in here and just started assuming things about me and started trying to defend me against what my you own dad for some reason. And the whole point of the thing is, is that you have so little brain power that you made a video that wasn't even your own opinions, and then you come in here, oh. you get questioned about it, and then when someone goes, okay, uh, so that's pretty dumb. You go, oh no, never mind. These were, are my opinions. Get asked about it, and then you freeze up immediately because you don't know what was said. Actually, I wasn't freezing up. I'm not in a public space, like I said. Okay, so can you answer the very first question of what Lyo did that was so cold-hearted? And, and like, do you even know how many people were anywhere? Wow. Like, go ahead. You really can't get track of this conversation, can you? Feel free to just answer the question instead of trying more ways to deflect. No, I pretty much know what's going on now. No, you, don't. you don't know dick off anything. If I handed you a boot, put water in it, and told you the instructions were on the heel to pour it out, you still wouldn't be able to do it. Let me guess, you're on the spectrum. Uh, you're on the spectrum, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm not actually. Are you sure? Yes. You might want to get tested because you really struggle with social cues. How in the world does oh, so somebody... I should get tested? Yes, yeah, you should. Because Did you struggle with I speak cues? my own opinion and stuff. No, because you struggle with social cues. I said nothing about you. Wait, you say your own opinion? You don't even put your own opinions on your channel. You put your friends' opinions on. And I didn't say it's because you speak so? your own opinion. That's goofy. I said it's because you struggle with social cues. Have you just? What does social had... cues have to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. That's how you communicate with people. Why? Because I'm not getting angry? What? No, it's pretty obvious you're already angry. It's why anytime I ask you, how is he cold-hearted, your response is, you're not following the conversation. No, oh. I just told you. No. Like, not even a minute ago. I don't know if you missed it or not. Because I was in a call with my daughter for moral support, that's cold-hearted of me? Yeah, no. Okay, then how is it cold-hearted? I'm pretty sure Peaches is an adult and can solve her own problems. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. How well do you know Peaches? I know she's old enough to be an adult. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are old enough to be an adult who need help. That's why you have roommates, stupid. Are you not adult enough to handle the rent on your own? Um, excuse me? You know a situation, so... You heard me. I didn't stutter. I'm literally right here and you didn't ask. No, just some dude. It's it's fine. <coughs> no, just some dude's another YouTuber. It's not me. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, literally, there's a guy with that name. Well, go on. Why don't you go ahead and ask her directly why she couldn't do it on her own? Let's hear it. She's in the skull. It's not here. Yeah, she is. That I'm literally Lyo Man Jr. is Hopeless Peaches. Hello. Oh, hi. You can ask if you want. Ask what? You wanted to know why Lyo was in the call. And instead he'd been talking for me. I'm right here. Dude, I was in the call now. What? Yeah, uh, you heard me. No, actually, she didn't. Nobody here heard you. Like, your connection's not good. Yeah, actually, yeah, you you did know I was in the call because you were literally apologizing to me before. What the fuck? That's not what I said. <laughs> Alright, well, since you're not gonna ask the question, I'll answer the fucking... No, no, go ahead, question. answer. Okay, the reason why Lyra was in the call is because I was very stressed out over that time period that I was talking to Spockta, so I asked Lyo if he could be there in case things got out of hand and he could literally just sit and not talk. And then I even spoke to Spockta and said, is it alright if Lyo's there to just listen in due to XYZ? And he said, yes, it's fine. Okay. Do you know how to even cope with stress? Uh... Clearly, you're 24. 
can't say your own opinions on the internet, and can't even kick your roommate out who you dislike, um, I wouldn't be asking from your standpoint personally, because at least I can deal with stress enough to the point where I can say my own opinions on the internet instead of crying the moment that someone asks you about what your opinions are. Okay, first of all, you don't know my roommate. I know enough that they edit for your channel and they go, Hey, uh, Magna, can you say this opinion on the internet because I'm too much of a coward to do so and you're too much of a coward to say no, so you say, sure, go ahead. You think you know my roommate? I know enough for this. You, you to know yeah, me, so no, you don't. You claim to know me, so I suppose that's a fair comparison. Yeah, and you claim to you know, know enough about what I can do. Go ahead, we didn't hear you. Go ahead. There's a mute. Okay, so your roommate's a mute. I am sorry yes. to hear that. At the same time, there are speech programs that they can type it in, and the computer will talk for them. She doesn't know that. Yeah, I don't believe you. She doesn't. Right. You're in your twenties. So and so is she. So. Oh, so you can insult me again? I mean, you've insulted me. Is that not okay? Is it not okay to insult you if you insult me? Um, actually, I don't insult people. You literally call me cold-hearted. Do you not think that's an insult? Because you're acting that way right now. I'm acting that way by telling you you're wrong. You think that's cold-hearted? Oh, so you think you know my roommate? And all this conversation about, is more stupid. All we know about your roommate is what you've literally told us, and all of it's extremely goofy. The entire reason why you say oh. you completely agree with them is because I made fun of you on Twitter. Oh, so you mean her severed jaw is a fucking joke to you? What? <laughs> what? This, this is the whole pancake versus waffles thing. Somebody on Twitter says they like waffles, so you hate pancakes. No, that's a completely different sentence. No. I literally just told you I am sorry to hear that they are mute. It's goofy in the sense that Questioning you are all my goofy. roommate. No, you're all goofy in terms of your actions. It has nothing to do with disabilities. What's wrong with you? With you? Do you need meds? Do you need help? I mean, I have some. I'll put you in the psych ward for life. I have a Mucinex here. It tends to help with the cold I currently have. As far as the psych <laughs> ward goes, I mean, you're welcome to try. You want my address? I'll give it to you anyway. My real name is Thomas Guerra, spelled G-U-E-R-R-A. Yeah, Properly I don't pronounced. want to go to your house. Properly pronounced. Hey, you want to send me in a psych ward for life is what you just threatened, so let's put you to the test. It's properly pronounced Guerra, but you're a gringo, so we're not going to go. Maybe don't way. insult me. It's what? If you make a threat, be able to back it up immediately. Truth is, you can't put me anywhere. You have no power. So try that with somebody dumber than you next time. Then how about don't tell me to get meds? I never... What? No one said you, that. You asked me it's if I want said. meds. Are you okay? Like, genuinely, are you okay? Yeah, I am okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. I think you're having a schizophrenic meltdown. How old are here. you? I, I told you how old I am twice. I think they do oh, need yeah. meds. Guys, am I out of pocket here? Something's not right here. No, they are good. No. No, this is confusing. So for the third time, this is hilarious. For the third time, I'm 37. No, because I pretty much answered your question. No, you didn't answer my question. You made a random threat of putting me in a psych ward forever, which you can't do, because unlike you, I'm mentally sound. I never made fun then, of your friend for being. Me. I never made fun of your friend for being mute. I said the situation's goofy, and you guys are. Yeah, goofy. I never said that. You did. I full yes, disclosure. You did. No, this I entire, didn't. This entire call is being recorded. Yeah, okay. And? That means I can easily put it offline and show that, yes, you did absolutely just threaten to send me to a psych ward for life. Matt, let's go ahead and go down the line. Um, 3P HP, can you unmute? They quit telling me that I have issues. Wow, what's up? Did you hear her say that she could send me to a psych ward for life? Uh, yes, I heard that. All right, read, read mute, please. Yeah. I said, do you want me to send you a psych ward for life? I didn't Which is say a threat. send you It's a threat. That is a threat. That's that a is threat. still a threat. Matter of fact, to a point, if I said, do you want me to show up on your doorstep and break your kneecaps? Is that a threat or not? The answer is yes. That would be a threat if I actually said that with intent. Look, I don't know what type of circles you tend to run around, 
on the internet, but I'm not scared of you. Okay? I know you are of me for some asinine reason, but I'm not scared of you because you can't do dick to me. That's why I gave you my real address because you're not going to do anything about it. So back to the point. Because I never that would said, be called stalking against the law. No, that's not stalking, stupid. Actually, it pretty much is. No, uh, you don't know law either. Stalking. You don't know law. Neither does your goofy little friend watcher. You don't know laws, you don't know litmus, you don't know statutes, you don't know limitations, you don't know any of that. You probably couldn't even tell me the difference between a misdemeanor and a felony. I genuinely want to know what they're basing us off of. <laughs> so again, I said that you guys are goofy. I never once, and would not ever, attack someone for their disability. Generally, my value is I don't even attack people for things they can't control. So if you have a lisp, you can be the most annoying person in the world I'm not going to attack you for because that's out of pocket. Your actions, though, are just your actions. That I will mock you for. So I again, would... you literally had Rosie here, Hopeless Peaches, Ask you what the issue was. And you didn't actually answer. I would like to say, as someone who does have selective mutism, selective, hence why I talk here, I don't talk in other circumstances, it is not to mocking someone's disability or someone's mutism by asking them if they use a very common accessibility tool. I use text-to-speech. It's incredibly common. There's bunch a bunch of free apps i can search up accessibility tool mutism and i'd receive 20 different apps i can use it's ex it's extremely common and i'm actually surprised if someone who is mute doesn't know that so, if that makes any sort of sense yeah so again me being there for my daughter is somehow me being cold-hearted i have to ask how soft is your life that you think somebody being there for their kid is cold-hearted uh, never said that. You, you just did. Did. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh my god, you did. Well, it's cold hearted that you were in that call with Spockter to be moral support for Peaches. You want to know what I would actually do if I was cold hearted? You want to know what I'd actually do to Spockter if I was cold hearted? Because I don't think you actually know what that word means. If I was cold hearted, I would simply post. Spockter's face online and mock him nonstop oh, no. because no, I've I'm, been in video calls with him. I'd be worse. If I was yes, truly, uh, I just described him. Yeah, if I was truly cold hearted, um, doofus, dork, whatever your name is, what I would do with Spockter is I'd dox him, I'd post his information out there, I'd post where his family works, I'd post where his little sister lives, but I don't because I'm not cold hearted. Because that's the really funny thing about all this, you making that claim. I get clowned on in this server constantly for being dumb enough to help everybody and their mom because I'm not cold-hearted. If Jace was in here right now, Why he would have lost so on you more than I What? Mm. Repeat yourself. I didn't hear you. I said, why do you sound so offended? Because, um, I'm, because I'm sick, stupid. I've had the flu all week. Why do you sound so mushmouth? reasonably he, he's very reasonably offended <laughs> you're accusing someone of being very cold-hearted although he's doing the direct opposite by caring for his child which is incredibly okay, warm-hearted holy crap you're stupid so let's go ahead and move past the first one then what are the other ways i've been cold-hearted i'd love to hear this i'm sorry i couldn't hear what were you saying what are the other ways i've been cold-hearted i would love to hear it Um, I have no other way. So I'm cold-hearted because of one specific action? Um, if he was cold-hearted, he would have just told me to get lost if I asked him to help me. Alright, so let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and take this take this idea and stretch it out. Okay, so um, I don't know what you actually prefer to go by. We'll just call you Magnastar. So Magnastar, when you were a little child, did you ever wet the bed? Um, no. Never once. What? Never once. I was caught uh, at, at a young age. Okay, okay. <coughs> Have you ever spilled a glass of milk? No. Or water? Nope. Have you ever tripped? No. Okay. So Have you never had any accident <laughs> no, as I, a toddler? At this point, I don't even believe her, but let's go ahead and have fun. Have you ever deleted a video because you pissed yourself out of fear? 
The answer is yes. Uh, so we're just gonna I'm call you, So we're just gonna call you a pussy now. Because of that one action, you are forever a pussy. You pussy. <laughs> How's that sound? I think that sounds great. I think that's fantastic. This is insane. See, this is why Spock your left. Well, I this is not he... what Spock oh, this, this is why no Spocker left because Spocker finally got called out for his nonsense. Because you don't know yes, dick Spock about what's actually happened. You don't know. No, it's your aggressiveness. Oh, my aggressiveness, honey. You haven't heard me get aggressive yet. If you think I was aggressive in that call, you have lived a very soft, posh life. Very, yeah, very yeah. soft. I've posh. lived in a house with three bipolar people. I know what aggressive is. You don't know dick so about it. aggression, you worthless, <laughs> gutless weasel. How's that sound? That sound a little more aggressive. So wait. Wait, oh. real quick. So you're you're saying the aggression of a 16-year-old <laughs> is what made Spockter turn, like, tail and leave? Yeah, no. <laughs> that, that is the scariest person ever, let me Fuck. tell you. Like, like, on ironic here, he literally used Linlin's video as points as to why he's leaving? Yeah, the entire reason why, the entire reason why he used Linlin was as a meat shield because he didn't want to address did you even watch his video i did the and you know what i sat there and i had a nice little giggle over all the times he lied about it yeah why are I you really fucking commenting bag it's such pussies i don't know yeah, why. I, I wish i knew why especially people like this dirt bag which are like what what's the what's the phrase peaches what's the phrase they use for people like this um a fake relationship of sort, like they, they think they have a bond with Oh, parasocial? Yeah, parasocial dirt <laughs> Well, so like my relationship with my only friend is fake. Oh, so Spockter's your friend? <laughs> no! That's who we're talking about? <laughs> oh, hold on, God. hold on, pause, pause. I'm gonna ask this genuinely. Genuinely. Magna Star, are you okay? Because oh. I don't think you are. We weren't even talking about your friend. We were talking about Spock. What's going on? I don't give a fuck. No, you do. I think there's something genuinely wrong with you and you don't want to admit it. What's going on here? Uh, What's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me other than the blue I have. We were talking about Spockter. Why do you think we were talking about your friend? That was a question that requires a response. Oh shit, my bad. I'm still doing something. I know you're doing something, but that doesn't mean anything. I asked you a question. I'm doing stuff too. But why'd you think we were talking about your friend when we were talking about Spockter? That was very obvious. Because you're not Spockter. saying Spockter we in the were, sentence. We were not. literally talking about Spockter. We mentioned Because you're not name. saying his name we in did. the sentence. We did. We were talking about Spockter. We were talking about Lin Lin. I talked about Spockter's video. You just mentioned his video when I said, yes, I did see that video. I thought it was hilarious how many times he lied through it. And then Lin Lin was brought up in direct response to that. I talked about... Oh, you mean so... Doctor having an opinion is hilarious. No, and then you oh getting like Spockter everybody else lying getting is hilarious because he's not very good at it, and your community, not your community, the commentary community as a whole, suck at sussing it out. That's the point. Wait, here's my wine. Maybe you ought to leave the wine where it is. <laughs> nope, I'm pretty much keeping it. Well, I think it's probably going to do more damage to what little brain cells you have left than anything else going on here right now. So you're still insulting me. Yes, I am. I'm telling you, you need to stop hitting the wine. <laughs> Such an insult okay. to tell you not to drink. Yeah, big insult. Okay. <clears throat> Can you just not tell when somebody's actually insulting you? I just don't give a fuck. Yeah, you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. See, now the whole I don't care... That's also deflection, because you know you can't go anywhere with this, because you come in here trying to tell me what I am and who I am, you don't know dick all about it. And when I give you my literal real name, my address, and my age twice, by the way, you don't remember it. You just don't know what's going on. You just got offended for the sake of being offended. That's pathetic. Oh, okay, so I'm offended. Yes, you clearly are. 
It's why you have the video done, based on your friend's opinion. It's why you get upset when you think anybody might even slightly be insulting you. And it's why you cannot handle even the smallest bit of criticism. So you think I should care about your petty insults? You clearly do, because every time you think I'm insulting you, you get offended. <coughs> Uh, I, I'm not actually offended. You how about you tell us more about how much you don't care? <laughs> if you weren't offended, then why talk about it? Why even bring it up? Oh my god. This conversation Hold is on, so hold stupid. on. Which god are you calling on? I'm not talking to you, asshat. Oh, you said, oh my <laughs> god. So which god are you calling on? Now, if you notice, you insulted me, and I didn't direct any information towards that because I'm not insulted by it. I think it's goofy, and I think it's more deflection, so I'm going to ask you again, what god are you calling on? Speak, monkey. Well, come on. You can do it, champ. Are you ashamed of the god you call on? Is that what this is? That's not what Who I said. Is... You said, oh my god, so what god are you calling on? Inshallah, sister. Oh, so that matters now? Yeah, it does to me. Oh. So what god are you calling on? Does that even matter? Just answer the fucking question. I don't think she can. Hey, um, uh, is it okay if I had a chance to ask her a question because I would just I would, more. I would be happy to give you the answer, but first I want to know what god she's calling on. Alright. Who is the commentary god? <laughs> Is it Spockter? Well, then, that, that prayer ain't getting answered. Madness I need a direct answer. What god are you calling on? <laughs> what type of useless servant of a god are you when you're too scared to even admit who you serve? This is... I don't serve anyone. Then don't call on a god to help you. That's not what I said. That, oh my god, that's calling. I'm not even religious. religious. What does that freaking matter? <laughs> god, you're stupid. You are dumb. Go ahead, Zayi. All right, here's my question for you, Magna Star, or the person mm -hmm. who thinks paraphrasing a YouTube video automatically art makes a good argument. Me trying on, to settle. Hold on, Zayi. This is not part of that. Oh my god. That's the second time you've <laughs> Everyone... this person about the wrong thing you do for. Why is everyone here such a f I don't anyway, This isn't the same person? No, this isn't the person we've been arguing. Well, it's something I've been, funny, I've been arguing with, but it's not really the person. You, like, check names, Matt? The fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> this is why- One reason- oh, One good reason why I don't drink. If I ever went to a bar with Zaid and mentioned, like, earlier in the day, some dude got an attitude with me, and I give one dude at a bar an ugly look, Ah, oh, is this the guy who messed with you, Lyo? I'm gonna go punch him. Don't <laughs> Lyo. I'm sure we can go to a bar together. Anywho, I'm that... terribly sorry. I got the two. Anyways, minutes. deflection. Oh, my darling. So, Never me, changed, uh, uh, Tell me more about myself, Magnastar. I'd love to hear it. Tell me about your deep psychoanalysis of Lyo Condor. I'd love to hear it. Am I a big, mean bully man? <sighs> I want to hear your head cannons about Ly Lyle Convoy. Yeah, and then we can get into the shipping wars. That'll be fun too. But yeah, what's what? What am I? I'm a big mean bully man. Did I say that? I mean, he did call me a bully, which was adorable. Yeah, because no offense, when you act like a bully online, you kind of are. Have I taken your lunch money yet? <laughs> Yes Bye. Shoved... I don't care anymore. And I shoved you in a locker. Uh, more of this. Telling us how much you don't care. Can you the give me an essay on how much you don't care? Well, I fucking she's... leave. I she's gone. Uh, what the fuck? Did she really just leave? That's what he just said. Yeah. No, I... Did they um, just leave the server? Um, well, Saeed, you didn't get to ask them about why they hate your Star Wars rants yet. No, they're still, no, the they're still on the server. No, I, I, I think I got this person mixed up with another person. Yeah. That's me, stupid. I'm gonna see <laughs> your opinion on the Dolphin comic. Actually, 
That is a new bucket list item I want. I want someone to say I'm leaving and they literally just stomp out of the room. <laughs> that, was, that was fucking painful. That was. Yeah, but call me that person. Definitely a lap I need. Definitely one I need. Now, before the second call, I need to tell you what happened after she left the first call. And that would be attempting to sexually harass me claiming it was her partner doing it. The funny thing is that through the majority of the piss-poor attempts at harassment, I was screen-sharing in Senate. The attempt was so bad, even Heaton, an asexual, got secondhand embarrassment from watching it. Which is frankly hilarious. I don't have the screenshots since she deleted all of her messages, but I do have screenshots of her admitting to that. Not only that, though, but she also admitted after this second call that her editor doesn't exist, that she's not homeless and has no roommate, and does still live at home. So here's the call that happened after she got busted for the sexual harassment attempt. But another preface here, I was sick with the flu when this call happened and my audio fluctuates. So you'll likely hear me breathing and sniffling on my end. Hopefully the circus music will cover most of it. Enjoy. Alright, so, your name's Alma, right? Yeah. Dragon Knight, mute yourself. Laura, can you give me a sec? Good night. Mute yourself. Thank you. What? Let me know when you're able to talk. Oh, yeah. Why did you think the best way to start talking to me was to sexually harass me? That's not what this is about. So what this is about? Dude, I told you. That wasn't even me. So you didn't start it by talking about a kiss. Admin, mm -hmm. yes. It's... Hold on. So again, was that you or your girlfriend who typed that first part out? I do have a girlfriend. Okay. I'm going to ask again, was it you or your girlfriend who typed out the part about a kiss? Uh, girlfriend. And why do you think it was okay to let her do that? Um, I let her on my phone. I don't really keep privacy. Do you think it's appropriate for your girlfriend to make sexual passes at me? Do you find it acceptable that your partner has no problem speaking sexually to a stranger? I mean, the part that I find interesting about that is that Apparently, your partner was using your account to speak sexually to a stranger. I mean, he could be a killer, he could be a thief, he could be a rapist for all your partner knows, and they were still talking that way with your name on it, mind you. Double underlined. You don't find that a bit not okay? I don't know. This is my personal <laughs> observation. I think that's really strange that your partner would do that, but, you know. Can you hear us? I'm sure it's fine. Let us know when you can hear us again. And Coyote, I'm keeping an even tone because apparently she has genuine trouble hearing, so if you're wondering why I'm staying so level, that's why. Okay, I I'm sorry. Okay. I had to do something. So where did we lose you, then? Um, my girlfriend part? Okay, okay what I had said, I just want to clarify what I had said, which is that what I find interesting, or not clarify, I guess, just repeat, reiterate, 
What I find interesting is that your girlfriend was, while using your account, so putting your name onto it, willing to talk to a complete stranger the way that they were. I mean, for all she knows, uh, they could be a liar, they could be a fucking killer, a thief, a rapist, doesn't fuck, they don't know anything about Lyo. And they're willing to, with your account and your name, start making sexual advances towards him, which I think is really inappropriate and kind of disturbing. Uh, I know. Alright, then why did you find it acceptable to let them use your account to talk sexually to a stranger? Um, I don't keep things private or hidden. Okay, that's not what I asked you though. I don't have to keep I'm a, I don't have to keep the chat with my wife private, but I also know that she wouldn't appreciate me talking to somebody the way that you talk to me. The question isn't whether or not the chat is private, the question is why do you find it acceptable for your partner to speak sexually to someone else, and more importantly to somebody else that does not appreciate it specifically with the intent to harass them. Do you think sexual harassment's okay? No, and I'm going to talk to her about it. Right. Why did your partner seem to think that was an acceptable thing to do? She overreacts, and I have to kind of tell her that. But you didn't. You actively let her keep it up for over an hour. Like I said, I'm talking to her about it. Now, since we're clearly not going to get any answers out of that, what's your issue here? Um, I don't have an issue right now. You don't? So you just came in here for, for giggles then? Because well, I'd, I'd really... Sorry. Your partner told me you needed to come in here and talk to me about something specific that I needed to be told about. So what is it? Um... I talked to my friend about the whole vid thing, and I told her that I wouldn't make any more of them. Um, anyway, I was just gonna try to ask, um, what exactly was going on, because I'm just trying to get, you know, the full story. Apparently there was a lot of shit that I missed earlier, uh, so now I'm putting on the, the admin hat, server admin, gotta put fucking gotta insert some law and order into the situation so it's just one of those things uh, I'm trying Leo to can what tell happened. you okay alright what happened to this person in a video that has a really stupid thing said in it I showed up in the comment section started asking questions her response was to inform me that the video was not even her idea that her roommate is the person who held the opinions in that video. And I started doing that with her in YouTube comments of that video, as well as either friends or roommates of hers, as well as on Twitter. And then she comes to the Senate and starts talking 12 different types of trash. Apparently, she was upset that I accompanied Peaches in the call we had with Spockter said that I was being essentially cruel to Spockter, called me cold-hearted of all things, and when challenged on any of her positions, her responses were to accuse me of YouTube stuff, being a narcissist, a sociopath, and all these other things. She would not answer direct questions. She would not take well to anybody questioning her about what she thought. So she ran away. And then in the ends, she tells me she that she hopes I get what I deserve. And then I wound up getting I wound up getting the weakest sexual harassment I have ever seen in my entire life via her partner using her phone. Alright, is all of that just about the size of it? Is all that true? Um like the part where he said when I'm general. Was any of this over a voice chat or was it all through text? The conversation with the partner was through text. Everything else was voice. Yeah. So we the rest of the conversation it was definitively you. Not obviously the other, the text stuff was your partner, uh, but the other stuff was definitively you said these things. Am I am I correct? Um, so what, God, I can't, 
Fingers. Apparently, to this point, you have a problem with the way Lyo spoke to Spockter in that group call with Peaches, him, and Spockter. You called him a sociopath, cold-hearted, um, and... Pardon? I don't, have... uh -huh, I don't have a problem with anything. Yeah, yes, you did. So... Because you literally voiced it in the previous call. No, hold on. Let me clarify. Let me clarify. Do you mean you what he said is accurate as in you don't have a problem with anything or you don't have a problem with anything now as in like you don't care about any of the stuff? I don't know. Like what what do you mean by that? Um the first one you said. So he gave me an accurate description, which is what I had said earlier. Okay, so why do you think he's a sociopath? I, I guess that's the easiest thing to... was a little pushy. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a far cry from being a sociopath. Uh, why do you think he's a narcissist? And when, I, when, like, they tried to talk to him, they he just dismissed it. He really dismissed it. In what way? Like... I'm willing to listen to your interpretation of things. I just want to understand how you mean he was dismissive. I want to know uh, how you define these things about like that saying I like enchiladas, that is dismissive. But you said you hope I get what I deserve, and I said I deserve enchiladas. Like that's dismissive. That's a joke. Well, next time, can you please tell me that? And even if it was dismissive, what do you think I deserve? Thing. No, that's not true, and I don't appreciate you trying to lie like that. That is not acceptable. Okay. Not after all the nonsense you've been through. And where these comments are coming from, because they're... Right now, I'm sitting here, and they're feeling really out of left field. Maybe that's just because I have more of a personal relationship with Lyo, and I know him better than you do. Um, but I'm trying to understand your point of view, and I'm really struggling with it, because I'm just not seeing it. So I'd like to understand it a little bit better, if you if you wouldn't mind explaining what you're basing these statements, like being a narcissist, being a sociopath. Because saying that he was pushy, a lot of fucking people are pushy. You know, a lot of people, their boss is pushy. You know, their secretary might be pushy. Their mother might be pushy. doesn't make them sociopaths. Okay. Baiji's pushy. Uh, he's not a sociopath, at least I'm, that I'm aware of. Yes, I could I be wrong. Okay. Regardless, he is the exception. Here, I'll post it at the end. So, how do you define Lyo here as a sociopath or a narcissist? I'm really trying to understand. I've lived with people like that my whole life. You don't know anything about me. Now, when you say you've lived, do you mean you've lived with narcissists? Because I have as well, and I can describe my experience, and it's vastly different than my experience knowing Lyo. Because my experience living with a narcissist, he had me move into that house under false pretenses. He asked me to lie to the people that I was moving in with, and I wrongfully went with it for five days until I came clean and told them that was a lie and I'm, I'll leave if you want me to. Um, he then tried to get me in bed with him, despite the fact that we were living under the same roof as his fiance. And then he tried to guilt trip me when I declined him um, and was just like, oh, we'll delete the messages. I don't want him finding out. And just like, I, and I didn't delete any of the messages for when he tried to fucking get in my pants. Uh, but when his fiance was wondering if he was trying to cheat on him, I, I decided I'm not going to lie for this guy. And I just said, these are our direct messages on Facebook. I'm going to let you scroll through them yourself. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to give you any commentary on it. You can read for yourself what I said and what he said. And then he kept trying to manipulate me and manipulate his fiance, who is now his ex-fiance, uh, into seeing, into fighting each other for some fucking reason, even though neither of us were having it at that point. Uh, he tried to manipulate the people who owned the house. There were five of us living there. And there were this, that, and the other, all up until he eventually got thrown the fuck out. 
So that was my uh, fucking experience living with a narcissist, and that was over the span of one singular month. Uh, I imagine it could have been much worse if it was over an extended duration. I don't think Lyo is anything remotely like that, and that's what I've just described as a very typical situation living with a narcissist. Um, so I'm, that's why I'm willing to try to listen to your explanation of how he's a narcissist. Because from what I know of Lyo, he, he ain't nothing like that. Okay, let me explain it. I figured out, like, before I left to my own home... Before I became homeless... That my family had been saying all types of stuff about me, okay? And this caused a lot of pain. And I didn't know my mom was behind it. She did the thing where if I would say something, she would yell at me. So my experience was like, she would gaslight me and try to basically ruin my life. All right, I understand that. And there's something that I want you to listen to when I say this, because this is going to be a very important thing for you to carry for the rest of your life a lot of people yell if you respond to anyone getting hostile because sometimes people will yell with good reason uh, sometimes they won't have a good reason but they'll just be angry at a situation a lot of people yell but you can't immediately start labeling them the, with the same label painting them with the same black brush that you did your mother because not everyone's like that not everyone yells as piece of manipulation tactic to gaslight you Sometimes people are frustrated and they just want to get to the bottom of something. Sometimes people are just angry at a situation. There's a lot of reasons, a million and one reasons in the world why somebody could yell. They're not always a sociopath for yelling. All right. Hell, my, fa my father yelled at me when I was a child. My mother yelled at me when I was a child. But they loved me. They raised me right, I like to think. And when they yelled, it's because I had done something wrong. And they didn't know how to express that frustration in a different way at certain times. Usually it's because I colossally fucked up when they decided to yell. I knew what she was doing though because I would go and I would listen to their conversations without them so knowing that I was there, I was basically sneaking. Okay. I I want to tell I you I, I understand I'm not disputing the relationship that you may have had with your parents. I'm not disputing that. I'm trying to clarify that just because Lyo yelled does not make him a sociopath. I'm clarifying right now the whole point of what I've said is that there are millions of reasons in the world why somebody could yell. Maybe being a sociopath is one of them, but it should not be what you automatically assume about an individual because they yelled. All right. That is that is an unhealthy association to make. May I speak as someone with the funny little sociopathy disorder, sociop whatever the fuck you say. I think we should probably just keep it limited, if you don't mind. Oh, that's totally fine. So what does your mother's asinine actions have to do with me? I'm not making it about you. You literally are basing your assumptions of my character from your mother. You absolutely made it about me. You called me a sociopath. You called me cold-hearted. And when I asked you how, your evidence of me being cold-hearted was the fact that I supported Peaches in a call with Spockter. Yes, that was my mistake. That wasn't a mistake. You did that intentionally. I don't appreciate... No? I do no, not... I said... I don't appreciate people trying to lie to me. That's strike two. Don't make a third one. 
I don't appreciate it. You can tell me all sorts of horrendous crap, but don't lie to me. You're 24 years old, you're too old for that. I didn't actually mean it. Then why'd you say it? Then why'd you say it? Did you think it would actually bother me on a personal level? I really hope you're not asking somebody else why you said it. No, no, no. I'm copying what you say for a reason. And what's that reason? Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't... It may not bother Lyo that you called him a sociopath or cold-hearted or whatever you called him. It bothers me a little bit, if only because I know a lot of the ways that Lyo was bent over backwards for a lot of people that he really didn't have to help, for example. Um, let's just say, for example, the fact that there's somebody currently living in his house that he got out of an abusive situation and is now in a safe situation because he actually went out of his fucking way to help them and he has given them some place to stay and welcome them into his home when they really didn't have a great situation outside of that. Uh, let's also factor in that that person was targeted by a child predator before that, which Lyo helped to actually, you know, see that person face justice. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why I think Lyo's a really fucking great guy. Uh, that's just one that I can name right now that everybody in this call just about knows about. So, uh, if, even if it doesn't bother him, it certainly bothers me, just as somebody who knows his character. I, I don't think he sounds like a sociopath to me. I don't think he sounds cold-hearted. I think he sounds like somebody who can be very abrasive in some situations, something of a bulldog when he's trying to get to the truth and the bottom of things. But a sociopath, cold-hearted, far cry from. Uh, Leah, what did you say earlier? Why'd you say it, then? Honestly, I sometimes react a little too quick. That wasn't a quick reaction, because I asked you five times what you meant by the word frosty. And this is why I do oh, not... Oh, oh, that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, because laughing that is a real... Laughing is a real I good way to show you're sorry. Really being cold-hearted. I'm so sorry. Yeah, laughing is a real good way to show you're sorry. I didn't really know what that word means. It was it was actually given to me by one who? day in a chat. I see. So you just throw out words you don't actually know the meaning to to attack people when your feelings are hurt. Is that it? Yeah. You're 24. I don't think there's... I'm going to be honest right now, just because I'm going to be leaving in a minute just to go have a smoke so I'm getting a headache, but I don't think there's a lot for me to sort out here now that I've kind of got the basic spark notes of the situation, except to, to say Deflection or Deflecticon. I, I don't know what your name is. I just see it on screen right now as Deflecticon, so I'm going to address you as such. Deflecticon, I think you made a very rash and prejudicial assumption about Lyo, and you made a lot of assumptions about his character with li very limited information, which are... Hilariously untrue, and even though it doesn't seem to bother him very much, he's just kind of let it roll off his back. I think it bothers me a lot, and I think it probably bothers a lot of people in the server. And you should honestly take some time to reflect on how you decide to judge others before you actually know anything about them outside of one recorded conversation. All right, that's about that's that's my takeaway from that. That's my two cents. Uh, Coyote out. Now back to what I was saying. You lied to your partner. You told your partner that you weren't given a chance to speak. You were given multiple chances. You were asked the same question multiple times, and you deflected and refused to answer it. I want to know why you lied to your partner and why you're trying to pass that as what happened. I couldn't actually hear you. I was definitely near somewhere where I couldn't hear you at all. Then why didn't you just say that? Are you going to tell me you couldn't hear I me was now? Getting, I was getting frustrated because there was too much noise around me. And your reaction to too much noise was to make a mule of yourself. Is that what you're trying to tell me now? 
Uh, yeah. So you do a goofy video. You get a little bit of backlash on Twitter. Very minor, mind you. And your response is to now agree with some random clown who is being a gormless idiot. And then say you agree with everything you said in the video with your friend's opinion. Which I remind you, your friend says that I drag people into drama. That I am a problem somehow. And that I need to mind my own business. Can you tell me what my business is? Since I seem to not know it. can't answer that for you. Then why would you be dumb enough to put that in a video? I don't know. I don't know what her mind is. But you'll agree with it. No, I don't anymore. Right now, no. May I quickly say something about the last voice chat? Who is speaking? Uh, 3HP, the one you asked last go time. Okay, go for it. Yeah. I clearly remember that you definitely were responding to several different questions thrown at you. And it seemed more like you were directly ignoring questions that were jabbed at you. Because you were asked several times about actual issues. Yet, as soon as the fact that, um, as soon as you said, I'm going to put, I hope you get put in psych ward, I'm going to put you in a psych ward or something along those lines. As soon as that got asked, you vehemently, like, defended your words, like your life depended on it. Yet ignoring any of the actual questions that were thrown at you beforehand. And I, I just think that's kind of suspicious, but... Correct, you did. Oh, you did. Can you repeat what you just said? Okay, let me go ahead and make this easier for you. You made a threat towards me, and then you tried to pretend like it wasn't a threat. Did you really think you'd be able to scare me with that statement? No. Then why would you say it? Like I said, I react a little too much. Yes, but normal people don't react with threats. I'm not normal. Clearly. So, let me explain to you, since you were not taught, a very basic concept here. Do you know the people in this call... a yes or no question. It is not a it is not a essay question. No. That means you don't know the moral value of the people in this call, do you? No. That means if you're dumb enough to make that type of threat to people who can find your address and dick with you, you have picked the wrong fight. And for the record, and this is just so you are aware. I do know how to get that type of information. Because I've done it to report child predators for four years now. My cold-hearted self and all. Um. Be cognizant of where you are. And the fact that you don't know who you are dicking with when you run your mouth at people. That's why what I said to you in initial response was never make a threat you cannot immediately follow up with. I did say in the call that I wasn't coming. Coming? No. I know you weren't. The point is you made a threat. And that's why I rattled off my address to you, because I know you can't do anything. My point is one day you're going to pop off to somebody who's not going to be as benevolent as me. And all this because you had your opinion challenged on a goofy video you made. Can you just not take uh, can you just not take criticism? Is that what this what is? What are you talking about? The opinion or the video? 
both. The video held opinions. You can't handle people challenging your opinions. How have you lived this long without being able to handle something so simple? Okay, you're you're saying both, right? Yes, I am saying both. And as I told you before, it it really wasn't my opinion. Even if it's not just the video, the nonsense you were saying in the chat was your opinion, and you did not know how to handle it being challenged. So I'm going to ask you again, and pay attention. How have you gotten to be this old without being able to understand how to deal with somebody challenging your opinion? Hmm. I can't answer that. I'd imagine not. And all of this, because if this is your opinion, you didn't like the fact that I was in the call with Peaches when we talked to Spockter. Do you think Spockter should be given backpacks? Do you think he should be given a hug when he screws up? Is that what you think this is? Um, I'm telling you, that wasn't my opinion. No, no, no. That was your opinion because you came in here with that specific opinion. You argued in favor of that opinion. Yeah, I may have argued, but it's not my opinion and it isn't now. Do you have any culpability for anything in your life, or are you just floating through the wind? The thing I argued? Yeah, it actually wasn't my opinion. Oh, my, the person who was sexually harassing you? Oh, that was my spouse. Oh, I never look at what they send people. Like, do you, do you have any sort of accountability in your life? Any agency? Or is it just you constantly being at the whim of other people? Make sure you lock your door back when you come in. All right, bye. Who was that? A friend. That wasn't a friend. That was somebody older than you. Yeah, like I said, she's a friend. You still live with your parents, don't you? Uh, no. How old is the person who just spoke? Does that completely matter? Yes, it does. I live with three people. That's not what I asked you. I don't know how old she is. I don't ask her that. Ballpark it. Like, seriously, I don't ask her that. Ballpark it. Do you not know what that means? No. Take an educated guess. I'm sorry, you said she was your friend, but you don't know how old she is? No. So again, take an educated guess. Because if I were to venture a guess, probably in her 50s. Hmm. Yeah, she's I don't know, dude. I, I seriously don't. So you can't look at a human being and take a guess at their age? You can't do that? You're incapable of it? No. Know that you aren't? Or know that you are? Uh, what you said before that. 
So you're claiming you are incapable of asserting somebody's basic age by looking at them. Are you seriously telling me that? Yeah. I don't believe you. And yeah. I, do not, I do not appreciate being lied to for a third time. There is no way you lack the ability to look at somebody and get a basic guess at their age. The truth of the matter is, you have tried to construct this idea of who you are and who you live with that is not the reality of the situation. Right to venture an educated guess based based on how you have conducted yourself, how things have been going here, and how things have been played out throughout this day. Here's my educated guess. That's your mother. Did I mention to you I'm homeless and I don't have a fucking place to live? You are not homeless if somebody comes up to you and says, remember to lock the door back when you come in. So you can do one of two things. Oh, muted now. Well, I'm sure you can still hear me. So you can do one of two things here. You can either start telling me the truth, or I can start taking some educated guesses and completely deconstruct your worldview. Take your pick by the time you unmute. It is absurdly ridiculous how many of these people come into the server after running their mouths and magically, somehow magically, not being able to defend anything they have to say. Every time. Doggone obnoxious. These are all allegedly adults. I honestly don't believe this one is. Oh, you unmuted. So do you have my answer? About what? I'll try this again. One of two things here. Either you can start telling me the truth, or I can start using my educated guesses and deconstructing everything you're trying to tell me here. Take your pick. I don't live with my parents anymore. Then who is that you were talking to? A friend, like I said. And what's their age? She's probably 50. Oh, so now you can guess. You have a 50-year-old friend at the age of 24. Isn't that interesting? I can't tell. Uh, we don't really speak on a daily basis. You can't tell. But I'm the person who doesn't know how to talk to people. I'm the person who doesn't get socialization. Interesting. And your partner lives with you, yes? Yeah. Why is your partner outside of the room? Uh, excuse me? Why is your partner outside of the room because I said it'd just be me and you talking I don't think your partner's real I think your partner's a convenient excuse for you to act like a scoundrel on your main account and have somebody else you can pass the blame to are Which, you sure about that? pretty consistently sure unless you can bring them in Come on, prove me wrong. And imagine the muting is her trying to tell whoever it is what's going on to try to prepare them to come into the call and pretend to be the person. 
This will be interesting. I don't see I'm, it happening anymore. Don't worry about it then. I'm, I have a mental image of a 16 year old approaching their mom and just explaining this in the most convoluted way possible. My friend, I will not allow her to talk. Why? Because I have respect for her. I do. Because you're lying and you know you've been caught. Nope, because I have respect unlike you. Oh, unlike me. Really. So if I didn't have any sort of respect, wouldn't I be yelling at you right now to try and trigger your PTSD? You're not very good at this game of bluffing. You suck at it. I mean, we could also try something else. You could always turn on your camera. I I want to stay a discrepancy. Also, you just said friend, not partner. Imagine being caught in so many deep lies, all because you couldn't handle a voice call. And still trying to lie. So who's Watcher? Is Watcher also one of your roommates? Guy. Okay. Can you repeat yourself? I don't know the guy. So you don't know him all, even though you call him condiment and all this other stuff. You totally don't know him. Matter of fact, that's a lie, too, because you two share a PC, according to the details of the DM, or the DMs of the conversation we had. You two share a PC. Lie again. Maybe it'll work this time. You want to try again? Try not lying to me. So I'm going to ask you one more time. We'll back up. Give you a clean slate on this one. Who is the Watcher? I seriously don't know. Then why are you lying to me now? Because here, I'll go ahead and pull it up real quick. Just give me a second. This will be cute. <laughs> Though you sent to the Idle Gamer who is also the Watcher. Get off the work computer until I get home. Do not talk to him if he's going to fight over an opinion. You are Then you are right. My apologies. I didn't believe you. You want to lie to me again? See where that gets you. That's your comment, by the way. Directed to the idle gamer, who is the same person as the Watcher. This is her. Um, I will see to it that she knows she's not allowed to do that. Oh, I couldn't care less about them doing something. I want to know why you just lied to me. You told me you didn't know these people. But there you are in your own comment section, sharing a home with them, a PC with them. I never said I didn't know them. You literally said in this call, you don't know them. Okay, and I just said, if it's her, if. I'll let her know she's if. doing a mistake. This is not an if. Dad. Young lady, this is not an if. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying if. I don't think you're hearing me correctly. I don't think you're smart enough to play this game with me and win. I read out your comment after you said you didn't know this person. After you claimed... That you had no idea who this person was. I just read back here on message of you making it very clear. Not only do you How know do you, them, you well, live with them, know. you live with them, and you share a PC. So either one of two things here is true. 
either you live with this person and you're trying to cover um, for them or there, there's some I don't have a PC. Then why did you say you did in this comment? I don't have a PC. I just asked you then why did you say you did in that comment? I have a tablet. I will read it again just for you, honey. Get off the work computer until I get home. Do not talk to him if he's going to fight over an opinion. Get off the work computer until I get home. Your comment. Yours. So you don't have um, a PC now. You don't have a work computer. Is that what you're telling me? No. Uh, I call it a PC because it's a tablet, but it flips. Then you knew exactly what I was saying and you were trying to deflect again. Really? Are you actually 24? Yeah. Because this sounds like a bunch of stupid chinibioi nonsense that some teenager cobbled together in their mind because they're lonely and they want friends. Do you live a fantasy life on the internet because your own life is so miserable and lonely? cobbling together multiple people that you think are your friends that you claim live with you that magically can't talk, a mute person who's apparently missing their entire bottom jaw, which, by the way, very unlikely to survive, a person who goes by the name of the Watcher that can't talk, oh, and your partner who magically can't talk because you just respect them. She had a missing jaw. A completely missing jaw. No. So where is it then? You said it's a missing jaw, and I said a completely missing jaw, and you said no. So is she missing the jaw or not? I thought that sounds so I'll just assume it's another lie. I'll wait for her to unmute again. Yep. How can they never... Can these people just never fucking be honest for once in their life? Good question. I don't know whether I mean, it's more insulting that they say I have respect for people. Okay, what were you saying? Okay, I'm going to repeat myself since you have a hard time listening and paying attention. I think these are all fabrications of your own mind because you're lonely. You fake having a friend that's mute and missing a jaw. You fake having a partner that magically can't talk because you respect them so much. You fake having a roommate that okay, you tell to get off a PC. Can you hear me? I overreact sometimes. Hold on. This isn't about you overreacting. I am coming at you with very specific things and you are deflecting again and that will not be tolerated. Do you understand me? Yes or no? Young lady, I am very low on patience and it is very late at night. I recommend you learn how to answer basic yes or no questions very quickly. So I will repeat myself. I do not appreciate the deflection. And I am asking you very basic yes or no questions. Continuing to deflect and lie to me will no longer be tolerated. Do you understand me? Yes or no? Your opinion, you think my life is a lie. Every time I've asked you to demonstrate anything about it, to prove it is truthful, you have had excuses why, for why Why, because I have more respect for people? How is it respectful to people to not prove they exist? Because I respect what she wants. Don't talk. And also, don't speak to me about respect. You have none. All the stupid crap you pulled, all the things you've allowed your quote-unquote partner to pull, don't you ever talk to me about respect. Your partner sat there and essentially undressed themselves in front of me. Don't, don't try to play this game with me. Don't you dare. Undressed herself? Essentially. I am using very flowery language. Because if you want, I can go on about how she thinks I want her, or rather how she wants to put herself on to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. yeah, you're starting to stutter now, aren't you? Truth is, those aren't her words, they're yours. 
because you can't take responsibility for anything. So you create people to take the heat for you. The magical friend who's mute. The magical partner that took over your DMs. The magical person by the name of the Watcher that types the exact same way you do. This is your last chance for whatever shred of dignity you might have for you to stop lying and be honest. I want to know why you have been lying about the existence of these people this entire time and how you think you're going to gain or benefit in any way, shape, or form from any of this. Because nobody here is impressed. And don't come back to me in 10 seconds and ask me to repeat myself. You heard what I said. Oh, um... Hmm. Let me set an example for you. I don't want an example. I want to hear somebody on that other end that's not you. No, I'm just going to listen. I want to hear somebody on the other end that is not you. That's what I want to hear. Well, come on. I don't really have any reason to prove anything to you. Considering the fact that your partner just spent the better part of an hour sexually harassing me, I recommend you do. Because the truth of the matter is, I yeah, made it very. I, I made. Do. I'm not done. I made it very don't clear. I did, I did not. I made it very clear. I did not. I did not. I made it very clear I did not appreciate that and I did not consent to that type of talk. So I could always hand it over to the authorities. And then you're in a lot of trouble trying to find your made-up girlfriend, aren't you? So now you're threatening me. Yes. I am threatening you with litigation. I am threatening you with the law that you broke. Do you understand me? Uh, or does that not exactly or does that not fit does that not fit does that not fit in the fantasy world you've constructed for yourself because you're weak and pathetic exactly well, explain to me what I did I told you what you did three times now do I need to get it to a fourth do I need to write it on construction paper with crayon so it's written in a way you understand are you a five-year-old Now you're just insulting me. Yes, I am. Because you are being willfully obstinate and you are continuing to lie to my face. So I'm going to insult you unless you start being honest here. Because you're not being honest. Especially for somebody who says your channels ran on morals. What morals are you ran by? Also odd that you go by the name Alma the Indecent Spirit when you talk about morals. That's just gross and weird. What's wrong with you? No wonder That's you, not what that means. No, no what, you don't know what indecent means? Because that's what you wrote. Here, I'll put it in the chat for everybody to enjoy. No wonder you sexually harass people in their DMs. Alma the Indecent Spirit. You know, I'm really am trying to be civil. No, you're not. You've lied to me multiple times here, provably. What part of civility is lying to somebody when they've made it very clear they don't appreciate that? Tell me how that's civil. Tell me how that's civil. I want to know. I'm curious. 
Educate me, oh educated one. Jesus, why are you so offended? Offended? Can you define that word for me? I actually scratched that because that's another deflection from you. Because that's all you know how to do. Because it really seemed that way, that you're offended. No, I'm not offended, I'm pissed. Okay. Which are not Please synonymous. Which are not synonymous, just so you're aware. And I know you don't know what that word means, but they're not synonymous. Nobody likes being lied to. I know you're used to lying to people and you think you should get away with it, but most people don't like being lied to, especially when they give them the time of day to do what they need to do. I gave you the opportunity to come in here and be honest with me, and you've lied to me the entire step of the way. Back of my friends, you think that I your should friends, really help them? Your friends don't exist. That's my claim. Your friends don't exist. And your response to being asked to provide evidence that they do, which is your initial claim, by the way, and it's a positive claim from you, is to say, well, I respect them too much. You respect them too much to prove that they exist. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that Expect interesting? their wishes. Their wish is to not be proven they exist? Who wishes for that? Are they on the run from the mob? So the Watcher doesn't want to talk, despite him running his cock holster all over Twitter. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You're wait, 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 wait. talking about that one dude. The one dude who's in your comment section you share a PC with, yes. Idle Gamer and The Watcher are two different people. No, they're not. They are. No, they're not. I'm reading it. Seriously. I don't know Seriously? who this is. How are you reading it? You deleted the video. I have screenshots. Like I don't know who this oh, is. Oh, you have screenshots now. Oh, isn't that fascinating? I watch everything you do. Hey, Dick, quit harassing my friend. I'm watching you, and it was me. They're the same person. You are not smart enough to construct this fabrication in front of a functional adult. You may have had an easy time lying to your parents because they're probably as dumb as you are, but I am not them. And you will not be foolish enough to continue to treat me like I am. Do you understand me? So what next is fake? Is your mother's abuse fake? Because I'm guessing your PTSD is probably made up too, isn't it? For the record, that's not something I would often accuse somebody of. Usually I'd find it abhorrent to imply that something somebody's struggling with... Oh, you're fake. confusing two people. I'm not confusing anybody, dickhead. So I'm going to ask you again, is your PTSD even real? And again, I usually wouldn't ask something like that. I usually completely take that off the table and I wouldn't let anybody else touch it either. But you have lied so often now, I'm starting to wonder if anything about you is true. To get into the account. I don't need you to get into an account. I need you to provide evidence of somebody's existence. An account existing does not mean a person exists. So go ahead and belay that. Put a pin in that because I don't care. You understand me? Or do I need to crochet you a ball of yarn to say that out for you? Proper great. Crop. Trying to help you out, and you're making it out for something bad. You can't help me out with anything. Because the one thing I asked you for, you refused to give, 
claiming it's out of respect when the truth is you can't give it to me because it doesn't exist. Why do you people always do this thinking you're not going to get caught? Is that the truth of the matter? The reason your parents say things about you that are mean is because you're a pathological liar? You're some dishonest snake that's caused trouble in your own home? But because you're finally getting called on it, your parents must be abusive? Is that what this is? Well, come on, mushmouth. Let's hear it. A lot of dead air in this call. Did they leave? They pushed out. Yep. Thought so. Did she leave? She left. That's what... You'd assume after that that she'd stay away. But nope. None of these people ever do. And I genuinely don't know why. You know how a kid usually learns not to touch a stove after the first time they burn themselves? Well, if these people were those kids, they'd flat out run to the stove each time while screaming, Flame on! I say this because this doofus makes a completely new Twitter account, now claiming the harassment was a prank, which led to a third and final call. All right, so what's actually going on here, Bunny? Huh? I just came to apologize. That was it. Yeah, why should I accept that, frankly? Because what you did, uh, you, made an ass you, you made an asinine video telling me I need to mind my business when my kid's involved. And then you come in, and you say the video existed because your friend, the editor who is missing their bottom jaw magically, that was their opinion. Then you try to tell me that you don't live at home, that you were homeless for a while, and then you try to sell me on the idea that it was your partner who sexually harassed me in DMs when you realized things weren't going your way. So, in order for me to accept your apology, I want you to admit to everything you lied about. Yeah, I did. All right, so do you live with your mommy? Uh, can we please not ask those questions? I said I want you to admit to everything you lied about. Well, I did. No. I'm asking you specifics. Did you lie about living with your parents? Uh, no. Yeah, you did. I mean, oh, so, oh sorry, my bad. Sorry. I mean, yes. Why? Why'd you lie about that? We're not on good terms, though, I can say. Mm. All right, so I went ahead and offered somebody something, and we're going to see how that works. So just for the context for the person who just joined the call, boom, this is Bunny Chan. About a month ago, Bunny Chan did a really stupid video talking about how I should mind my business and not get involved with commentary, even though when my kids was involved with the situation with Spockter. And when she got pulled and called to answer for it, she said that it was her editor whose opinion that was. And her editor cannot speak because they're missing a bottom jaw. And when pressed further, this person claimed that they were homeless, they didn't live with their parents. And then, when I started making fun of her in DMs, she said her partner took her phone and started messaging me and sexually harassing, or at least trying to, me in DMs. And then has been trying to play it off as a prank ever since. So there's your background, Boone. Let the, I'm going to go ahead and hand off this member of my rogues gallery to you. You can say and ask whatever you want. Okay. So. If, you're, if your partner is the one, like, sending these messages, right? Uh, taking your phone to send messages if i'm understanding that correct talking to you bunny chan not me yeah no no that's not correct then then please um give me your side of the story for yourself then i get bored sometimes Hey, um, so you send people harassing messages when you're bored? Is that... Is... Do you do this to other people? Because if you do this while you're bored, then I can assume 
You, well, your life, I don't assume, is very riveting. So you get bored quite often, I would assume. Yes. So do you sexually harass people in DMs often? No, those were jokes. D okay, well, okay, tomato, tomato, Schrodinger's retard. Okay, cool. But uh, do, you, do you do jokes often, then? Uh, say that again, please? Okay, do you do your little jokes often, then? Uh, no. Real no, quick. I thought you did. So, so just bored. to someone, ju so just to someone, so when you're bored, and only to someone who um, you have told to mind their business, even though the situation was actually their business. Got it. Uh huh. Can you tell yeah, me? You said, yeah. you said that you did it when you're bored, so. There must be another factor if you don't do this all the time. Can you tell me what's so funny about wanting me another to sleep? Factor. Can you tell me what's so funny about offering your your body to me? What's so funny about that? Um, yeah, what they were just you talk to that I joke. I want to say that to everybody. Can you repeat yourself, please? I don't go around doing that to everybody. Okay, but that's not the question he asked. He asked what the punchline to that joke was. You said that you thought it was funny. What's the punchline to that joke? What punchline? Who to the joke that you said it was? Like, what does that matter? Come come up with my own joke. Is that okay? Okay, but usually, okay, let me break this down so someone with as little intellect as possible could understand. So, you should be able to keep up. Jokes have a setup and a punchline. You set up the punchline. So you going into a man's DMs and being sexual, was that the setup or the punchline first off? Because we're very, we, we really want to understand okay, this line of logic. In the beginning, here. it was actually the setup. Okay, then what's the payoff? What's what's the funny haha -ha? thing? Not to you. What? No, I said. What is to you the funny part? I don't know the way he reacts. Well, good job, moron. That's not gonna happen. Like the only funny thing to me is the fact that you're that desperately lonely. You go into a guy that's probably twice your age. Okay. Are you? Are you that lonely? Nope. Can you not? Can you not bring boys over to your house because mummy would say no? Like I said, they were jokes. Like, I don't, I don't understand why, why I took them so seriously. Do you have any friends to hang out with? So, wait, 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 wait. Hold, on, hold, on, hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me get this straight. The punchline was his reaction to it. And then your response to hearing his reaction is, why are you taking it so seriously? It's just a joke. That's not how humor works. What you're doing is create is making it just cyclical where he cannot respond in any way that makes sense because it's Schrodinger's joke. It either is or is not a joke based on how he fucking responds. You're basically making it impossible for him to have a proper response to that basic based on just the fact that you don't mean a single goddamn word of what you say is what it really sounds like. You just don't mean what you say. You put it out there into the ether for no reason whatsoever. Am I understanding that right? Yep. Good. So in other words, what you do has no substance. Why are you even here? Like I said, I just came to apologize. That was it. All right. Yeah, then already... have you... You Have already you came in making half ass things, so. How old are you Have actually? Have you actually? How old are you actually? 24. See, you... you're a year older than me. How old are you? I'm... What? What do you think? <laughs> what? 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 I don't know. What? Well, okay, what okay. So, okay, we go basic maths now. So you've... Either you're fucking so actually, you know what? Actually, no, you are that stupid. Never mind. I'll forget that. What is twenty-four minus one? Twenty-three. 
Oh my god, congratulations. Did you really have to ask that question? Did Do you usually have mummy help because you with your I don't homework? know how old you are. I just said, you said, I'm 24, you I said, said. You're, I'm a year younger than you. How old are you? Mum, help! I don't know how to do this homework. Like, seriously, she literally responded with with her exact age in comparison to yours. It, 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 it's not rocket surgery, it's not rocket science or brain surgery, and it's damn sure not a combination of the two. <laughs> but like, okay, so I'm a year younger than you. Oh, we got, oh, we got to that point. You understand what that means, yes? Yep. Do you think I go around trying to sext people in their, what, their... 40s, 50s, to see what reaction it is, and then when they turn around and say, um, fuck off, I'm married, I go, lol, it's just a joke. Or do you think I do something of substance with my life? That's not my sister, don't talk about it. Sorry? What was like, that? Like, you do what you want to do. Okay, but usually when I'm bored, I don't, you know, commit crimes and harass people sexually to get off. Yeah, because uh, it's actually a crime. Yeah, and I'm actually apologizing for it. Um, I'm Have actually you actually apologized? <laughs> Have you actually apologized or just said it was a joke? No, I'm seriously apologizing for it. For the rude joke. <laughs> the rude joke. What's really funny is that you tried to delete all of your messages. And by the way, the last string of messages you and I had here on Discord, I just live recorded, so they're still there, to try to hide what you were doing. Okay. So let me explain something to you very quickly. On the off chance that I did not reject it and accepted it, what would you have done if I accepted the harassment? Tell me, because I doubt you're very attractive if you don't have any friends. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Okay. So if a dude just sends you a dick pic, is that just a prank? Uh, I mainly make fun of it. Mm. I'm sure I don't really ask that question, considering that would be the only action this person would get that probably accept anything. Yeah, probably. But here's the thing. Wow, so almost like the way you're ma we're making fun of you is the way that you would make fun of somebody doing the same thing to you. Mm -hmm. So you're getting exactly what you deserve. And and here's the kicker. Okay. If that if that was a prank, why all the lies to construct this idea that you have a group of friends and a lesbian partner and that you don't live with your mom when you live with your mom and we literally heard her in the last call? Why lie about all that? Do you think you're impressing anybody by making your lies so obvious? Listen, I just came in to apologize. Yes, and I told please. you I told you if you want the apology accepted, you have to talk about it. You have to explain things. So you standing there, they said that you're only here to apologize. And I told cool. you I get bored, and that's my mistake. The truth of the matter is you had no clue if I'd ever see your video or not, so that's not a matter of you getting bored and making mistakes. Don't lie to me. You don't you're not smart enough for it. You were genuinely not smart enough for it. You weren't even smart enough to make sure you were muted when your mommy came in and talked to you. <laughs> like, come on. Okay. So don't ever lie to me. You're not smart enough for it moron and the worst part is here's what i understand i, I want to see if i can get an answer from you about this because i can't seem to get one from anybody else you got wrecked you went away and then you immediately come back you start talking trash you see i'm beefing with ringo and then you hop in my live stream chat and try to make nice what is it about me that makes you lunatics always come back why can't any of you stay gone i'm curious don't don't respond with i just came to apologize because you didn't you didn't come just to apologize. You want to be accepted back in. You want to be able to chat in my live stream. So I want to know, why can't you idiots just stay gone? I'm curious. That's all thing I came to do was apologize. I literally just said that's not what I want to hear from you. Yeah, he literally said, don't respond with just, I came here to apologize. I want to know why you people keep coming back. Because none of you people so ever grow. You never learn. You just come back, come back, come back. Of course, this is after you did some goofy, goofy twit post about how I'm a narcissist, which I would love to know how I'm a narcissist. I just came here to apologize, that's it. I didn't ask you if you came here to apologize. I'm asking you specific questions concerning your actions. How am I a narcissist, Bunny Chan? Uh, I just told you I apologize for, like, everything. So the post you made that's earlier today. That's not an ant. So... <laughs> 
And if you just came in here to apologize, why does it matter so much to you whether he accepts it or not if you don't want to give an explanation? Like, he doesn't have to, like I said. Then why are you still in this call? Here. Hmm. I'll, I'll just I'll just put Can it to you this way. keep asking the questions? Yes, I asked a question that you refuse to actually answer. You have not answered any actual questions I have given you. So I'm going to try one more time. Why can't you idiots stay gone? Why do you idiots always come back and then try to act like everything should be kosher and everybody should be accepting? I want to know why. I genuinely want to know why. Because you're interesting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um I have I have something to add actually. On Read your... a book and touch grass. <laughs> I I I have I have something to add. So on your Twitter, uh your bio says that you're an up and coming YouTuber. Like you're you are you are trying to become a YouTuber, yeah? Uh, yeah, not for the money and fame, though. Well, that's not what I'm asking. You want to become a YouTuber, yeah? Yeah. What do you think would happen? Because you've seen this all the time. You're, you're into YouTube and you're into commentary. So, explain to me this. How do you think that you can become a YouTuber in any capacity when you've already got a footprint online of sexually harassing people when you're bored? Um, uh, like I said, I apologize, and I'm going to move on. No, 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 but, no, hold on. So, do you think if someone, alright, let's go offline, because a lot of you weirdos think that online is somehow completely different. If some guy came up to you, if you were at a party, you know, you gotta really stretch the imagination here, because no one's inviting you anywhere. But, if someone came up to you and started harassing you sexually, and they kept persisting... And then, when you try and confront him about it, he's like, it wasn't me, it was my friend. It wasn't me, it was my friend. My friend my friend told me to do it. My friend was there with me to do it. And then the only time where he would actually apologize is because um, a load of people drag him and kick him down and start mocking him. Would you then think that him saying, I'm sorry after all of that, would mean that suddenly it's perfectly fine that he just harassed you? Or would you be thinking, this guy is someone to be wary of? Especially if he turned around and said, well, you know, I just I just sexually harass chicks whenever I'm bored, you know, lol, XD. I will leave. Okay, so let me go ahead and cut through some of the chatter here. You say I'm interesting, huh? Are you attracted to me? Is that what this is? No. no Good. You're just... Because I have a nice, thick wife, and you certainly don't meet those qualifications. Uh, she's a, I don't and she's a whole lot smarter than you, because she's a scientist. By the way, just so you know, yeah, the link on your do... Twitter to your to your why I won't explain myself, those links are completely and utterly fucking broken, by the way. Yeah, but if oh, you... If you... Do... Go ahead. I was going to just add that you don't need to add any qualifiers to... Um, mom's smarter than this person. They can't even subtract one from a number. That is true. But your your blink, the reason I was able to find out what it was, I just read the URL about narcissism. So if I'm interesting, how am I narcissist? If I'm interesting, why keep coming back? Knowing full well that I am not fond of people who do sexual harassment. I have literally spent four years trying to deal with people who do that to children and other people. Why would you be stupid enough to think that you're going to be allowed in my good graces from a simple apology after not only doing that, but lying about it. Lying about your living situation, lying about having friends, not even have the courage to say, you know what, this is my opinion, and I stand by it. Even if it's so mentally stunted that it thinks doorknobs are food. Why? I don't understand you people, and I don't think I ever will, because I don't think I can find darkness with a torch. But just humor me. Why did you ever think that was going to be a smart move? I want to talk to your mom. Put her on. Um, I'm 24. You can talk to me. No, you live with your mom, so I want to talk to her. I want to talk to the first. I want to talk to the person whose house you do this nonsense in. Yeah, we want to be able to talk to someone who can count. So. An actual adult, not somebody with just a number. <laughs> you know what? I came to apologize, but if you're just going to insult me, then bye. That would. Wow, it's almost like she should have done that. Like. Probably before I even joined the call. 
Oh, no. Oh, she that was, was quick. This, this is what these idiots are doing. Heck, that Ringo guy's doing it now, too. Like, they always do this. They get stupid, they get slapped, and then they come back either for revenge or because they want to be in my good graces. This person, you know, their sexual harassment was really stupid, like, really bad. I had a Heaton in the call, like, critiquing how bad it was. And it was just, it was terrible. It was terrible sexual harassment. But at the same time, like... Then they come back and they always they always do they never stay gone and I genuinely don't know why. If if I was in my early twenties and I ran into some angry old boomer who dismantled my entire life, the last place I'd want to be is right back near him. But these idiots have no survival instinct, literally none. It's just because your roleplay skills were on point that time, Lyle. Cast magic missile. But anyway, since this is <laughs> since this is going to go up on YouTube for all the artists who do nothing but listen to me jammer on while they draw, um, Bunny Chew, I accept your apology. I'm required to. But caveat, piss off. It's just a prank, bro. Seriously. She'll probably come back again at some point. They always do, for some reason. Despite how massive the internet is, they can't stay away. I'll never understand these people. So I'm going to put out a model review tomorrow, but for now, I'm going to go to sleep because I'm an old man. Take care.